Hi, my name is Dr. Rudraman and through the oral health channel today we are going to be talking about the use of buccal fat pad in the surgical operation of OSMF that is oral submucous fibrosis. Let's start. So today I'm going to be talking about a relatively common surgical technique used in the treatment of oral submucous fibrosis. Oral submucous fibrosis is a chronic disease which is mostly found in the uh, Southeast Asian community and the continent because of the fact that they chew areca nut. I made a lot of episodes upon that kind of symptoms, the kind of treatments, the, con the, the conservative treatments and the conventional treatments that are used in treatment of OSMF. However, in severe cases where the mouth opening is less than 16 mm, and there is burning sensation and other things we make sure because of the lack of mouth of opening we make sure that we have to go in advanced cases for surgical options so the use of buccal fat pad in the uh, treatment of oral submucous fibrosis is very simple under local anesthesia it can be carried out and very simply what happens is we have to first excise the intraoral bands by making an incision into the buccal mucosa or the cheek mucosa right from the corner of the mouth to the retromolar trigon that is the place behind your third molar once the incision has been made and we have excised the bands surgically we go for coronoidectomy this is your coronoid process which is required for the uh, so that your mouth opening can happen and we might have to extract your third molars and also go for a temporalis muscle myotomy that means shaving off some of the fibers of the temporalis muscle now once the mouth opening is achieved through the same incision the buccal fat pad is a fatty area here which has basically four projections and basically it is a, a lobulated mass which can be manipulated easily so we gently tease out the buccal fat pad through the layers and invert it out and over the area where the incision was placed we completely place it and suture it up now it requires a technical skill that is done by oral surgeons however the success of this uh, you know operation is quite good provided you are undergoing very rigorous and regular physiotherapy two three things that are prerequisites for the treatment of oral submucous fibrosis let me remind you that it is a uh, it is an irreversible disease so you have to be very careful about you have to make peace with this fact but the end outcome of this disease should be or the treatment should be that you are able to open the mouth you are able to tolerate foods and you don't have any other problems so you have to have to have to go for very rigorous physiotherapy fifth day onwards and you have to continue it every day without fail otherwise your treatment might the role of physiotherapy is absolutely essential in the success of the treatment so please be advised that you cannot miss out on your daily physiotherapy exercises as directed by your doctor or physiotherapist when it comes to the post-operative recovery of oral submucous fibrosis so this was today's episode please like share subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates if you want to get in touch with me here are my social media handles kindly refrain from calling directly as i might be busy with patients just drop me a message with your name your location and whatever common oral health problem that is causing you discomfort and i'll get back to you within a couple of days if you have any queries apprehensions doubts suggestions or insights please feel free to do so in the youtube comment section so that's it for today Thank you.